thank you, Mr. Speaker. First of all, it's a great privilege and honor to have the opportunity to appear before this very august committee of the National Assembly. Um, Mr. Speaker, uh, uh, Mr. Chair, I will, sorry, interchange the same. In any case, you are still the Speaker. Uh, Mr. Chair, my, my name is Onesmas Kipchumba Murkomen, born on 12th March 1979 on the eastern sides of um, uh, slopes of Cherangani Hills in a place famous known as Embobut, actually born in Embobut Forest as a son of a squatter. Uh, Mr. Speaker, I am the son of Reverend Joanna and Mama Margaret. I am married. I have uh, with one wife and four children. And Mr. Speaker, I went to for my primary education. I went to Chawis Primary School, which is uh, in Embobut. Like many of us here and others in the country, I went to school at a time in my area where I had to trek for at least five kilometers a day going and, and coming, so about 10 kilometers to access education. Uh, I also went to later to uh, Kapsiglai Primary School at the border of Elgeo, Marakwed and Transoia, where after I was uh, admitted to uh, the St. Joseph's High School, Kitale. Um, Mr. Speaker, my dream then was to join St. Patrick's. That is the school I knew. And so when I tried to transfer to St. Patrick's High School, uh, the school that time said I should have an op I will have an opportunity in my second year, my form two. So I moved from St. Joseph's High School, Kitale, to St. Patrick's High School for uh, my form two to form four. It is at St. Patrick's High School that uh, my leadership skills were honed. The speaker, I was, uh, St. Patrick's High School was among the few schools in the country then that allowed students to elect their leaders. As a speaker, the students of the school then entrusted me with one of the most sensitive dockets in the school uh, to be in charge of the dining hall. Uh, Mr. Speaker, then at a very early age, I learned how to distribute resources and how to protect the weaker. Uh, 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 um, so students, Mr. Speaker, knowing very well, you know, the, the, the sometimes bullying with Ensu, uh, where you have a Form 1 uh, fighting for his chance to get a better ratio of the food. And, Mr. Speaker, perhaps that skill and knowledge that I learned at that very early in life um, will become instrumental in the uh, job that I, um, I have been nominated to do because it's about distribution of resources and equity. Mr. Speaker, after St. Patrick's High School, um, I was admitted to study law at the University of Nairobi. And Mr. Speaker, again at the University of Nairobi, I had the opportunity to be in various positions of leadership. Uh, uh, one of which, Mr. Speaker, was to be the chair of the Kenya Law Student Society. Um, perhaps I'm told I'm the first chair, I'm the first person to be a chair of Kenya Law Student Society in my second year. And Mr. Speaker, from there, I also had an opportunity to be the chair of the uh, Fellowship of Christian Unions uh, National, Ex uh, National Student Executive Committee, which, bring, which brought together uh, all the members of the Fellowship of Christian Unions in the entire country, over 23 institutions at that point in time. Um, Mr. Speaker, I had other uh, responsibilities, including, including being an editor of the University of Nairobi Law Journal. And, uh, and Mr. Speaker, if there is a moment in my life that I learned a lot about leadership and was properly trained about leadership, because people ask me, where did you come from? Why did you end up being a senator? It's because at that early age, from the time uh, that I joined the University of Nairobi, I think I had exposure of many opportunities of training of leadership. So I went to the East Africa Wongosi Institute for training in leadership. Uh, Mr. Speaker, I also, together with the uh, other colleagues, um, Mr. Speaker, including uh, Honorable Alice Waome, uh, uh, Honorable Patrick Marero, Rachel Shebesh, who were in a founding class um, of leaders who are trained. Uh, I was still in the university, but I was in that class, uh, trained to be future leaders, and I'm glad that that, that dream became uh, fulfilled in, in the fullness of time. So if, if you find me spend more time, speak about my uh, adventure at the University of Nairobi, it's because 
I value it. Uh, it was very important in my formative years, uh, including as a speaker. Um, I was uh, one. I was in the leadership of the Sonu when Sonu was disbanded, and I was the chair of KLSS that established a new constitution for the University of Nairobi uh, students of Sonu. And we put together the Sonu, we restored Sonu Parliament that used to uh, uh, exist in the yester years. Mr. Speaker, after University of Nairobi, and within when I was still at the University of Nairobi, uh, Mr. Speaker, I had the opportunity to work with the with the uh, Constitution of Kenya Review Commission, then headed by Professor Yash Palgai as a program assistant. And I traveled many parts of this country to collect views. We were collecting and collating views for purpose of writing our constitution. Again, a very, very great opportunity. And uh, I, I always thank um, uh, Justice Pauline Yamwea for giving a number of us who are students at that point in time an opportunity to serve in the constitution institution making process. Mr. Speaker, after my tenure, uh, my term, uh, time at the University of Nairobi, I got an opportunity to uh, do my privilege with the firm of Muthoga uh, Gaturu uh, Advocates. And thereafter, I got a scholarship, a World Bank scholarship, to train uh, young African uh, students, or young uh, Africans actually, because focus was for Africans, on trade and investment negotiation. Um, and therefore I was sent to University of uh, Pretoria, where I graduated, Mr. Speaker, uh, with Magna Cum Laude. And Mr. Speaker, I graduated from there. I went again for an exchange program at the American University Washington College of Law, where I did another uh, postgraduate degree on international legal studies. Uh, my time in Washington, Mr. Speaker, was very uh, interesting. I had exposure of working with the uh, big think, tank, think tanks at that point in time, uh, Woodrow Wilson, uh, Mr. Speaker, among others in, in D.C. I also had an opportunity to work as a lobbyist. Uh, lobbyist lobbying in, in U.S. is a formal uh, trade where lobby firms are allowed to go to parliament and represent their clients in uh, in legal positions on, on different issues. And so I had a chance to appear before Ways and Means Committee of Congress at a young age uh, with that kind of exposure that I got. Mr. Speaker, when I left the U.S., interestingly, if you see my certificate for my second master's degree, although I left the university in 2007, I graduated in 2017. Um, uh, interestingly, Mr. Speaker, you know I was a hustler. So when I went there, I had to pay my school fees. And I was unable to raise $10,000 uh, to pay school fees then, uh, which then later I procrastinated until I paid and went back to co complete and graduate uh, when I was a senator here in the 2017. Mr. Speaker, uh, when I left the American University to come back to my country, there were so many people who were enticing me with opportunities out of the country. But I knew my place uh, and my dream was to participate in the task of nation building. And uh, when I came here, I was employed at the uh, Catholic University of East Africa as an assistant lecturer, Mr. Speaker, where I taught, among others, air and space law, which is again relevant to the, uh, uh, Mr. Speaker, the docket that I'm being uh, nominated for. Thereafter, Mr. Speaker, I also went, I moved from Catholic University to Moy University, where again I taught uh, various courses, Mr. Speaker. I am lucky to have taught uh, many, a number of students, some of whom are in the National Assembly now, and, and, and some are my colleagues in the Senate. And and, uh, Mr. Speaker, um, uh, that was a great opportunity for me because apart from just teaching, I, I enjoyed the time I spent uh, mentoring other students, both in matters uh, leadership but also in their uh, career progression. Um, Mr. Speaker, another very milestone, uh, a very notable milestone in my life to, for me is that as we pursued or uh, to pass the 2010 Constitution, Mr. Speaker, I had a chance to participate in many uh, initiatives that led to uh, civic education. I was a firm supporter of the new constitution. Uh, after the 2010 constitution was passed, the former Prime Minister, uh, Raila Odinga um, nominated me to sit in the task force on devolved government. I served in that uh, task force under, again, uh, a very uh, distinguished uh, citizen of this country, under Musali Mudavadi. And uh, that 
Mr. Speaker, must have been my most uh, notable contribution on matters devolution because we came up with six laws on matters devolved governance. In 2013, Mr. Speaker, uh, based on the experiences Ten. I had, Okay, Mr. Speaker, maybe I just conclude. Up. Yeah, I just went up by Wind saying up. from uh, 2013, I was elected to be a senator of the, uh, by the people of Elgeo Marakwet County. And in the Senate, I served in various capacities as a chair of Devol devolution committee, represented Kenya in Pan African Parliament, deputy majority leader, majority leader, Mr. Speaker, in the second term until I was unceremoniously bundled out of my position on uh, 12th May. May uh, 2020. Mr. Speaker, I want to thank uh, Mr. Speaker, the Almighty God, for the journey that I've traveled in public service. I want to thank my family, my wife, my children for giving me the support that I need to do this and the extended family, including my parents. And I want to thank the President for finding it fit, Mr. Speaker, to nominate me to this uh, position of a Cabinet Secretary. I am forever, forever grateful and I hope this committee will approve my nomination so that I can enthusiastically, Mr. Speaker, serve the people of Kenya. Thank you.